Hi everyone. Welcome back to Isabella Animations. The channel where you get spiritual and edifying videos to feed your soul. I want to seize this opportunity to appreciate everyone who has consistently supported this channel, thanks for watching at all times, thanks for your prayers, and also your super thanks. May God bless you greatly. Maybe you feel the glory of God is untouchable and unreachable. Maybe you think of the manifestation of the glory of God as something reserved for special church services or an extraordinary circumstance. Don't worry. In this video you are about to watch, you will be exposed to various ways to tap into the glory of God. Relax, sit, and enjoy the video. Make sure you watch to the end and also ensure to key into every prayer that is raised in this video. I'm sure you will be blessed. And please, don't forget to like, share and leave a comment in the comment section. Also do well to subscribe to this channel and click on the notification bell to get notified each time a new video is uploaded. Please, subscribe. Please have your seat. Thank you Pastor, I really appreciate. Pastor, I have actually prayerfully carried out some studies on God's glory just as you have instructed. And I discovered that I truly need God's glory if I must fulfill my purpose in life. That's good to know. But sir, how do I tap into the glory of God? The glory of God isn't just a feeling, an event, or an Old Testament experience. It's a spiritual tsunami of everything contained in the character of God. The word glory literally means heavy weight, meaning the heaviest, biggest, groundest thing about someone. It has been called the manifested presence of God, but more than just a presence, it's power. The kind of power that resurrects, delivers, overcomes and transforms. It is greater and stronger than any other power in existence. And it belongs to us. But, did you know that the glory of God is available to you 24-7? It's built in. That's how God designed it, it's how He designed you. Because you were born of God according to John 1.13, that glory is inside you right now. All things that the Father has, including His glory, belong to you. This means His glory isn't too far out of reach. It's right within your grasp. I will share with you, four ways you can tap into the glory of God by faith. And the very first way is look for the glory. Acts 7.55 says But he, being full of the Holy Spirit, gazed into heaven and saw the glory of God. If we aren't expecting to see the glory of God, we probably won't. Just like anything in the kingdom of God, it takes faith to see a manifestation. The glory of God is a visible power. In the Old Testament, the glory appeared as a cloud, smoke, or fire. This visible power is also known as Shekinah glory, which is the Hebrew name given to the presence of God dwelling on the earth. The nation of Israel saw the glory when God came down to meet them on Mount Sinai. Exodus 24:17 says, The sight of the glory of the Lord was like devouring fire on the top of the mount. The prophet Habakkuk got a glimpse of that fiery glory too. He described it as like the sun, blazing in the sky, Habakkuk 3, 4 says his brightness was as the light. He had horns or shafts coming out of his hand, and there was the hiding of his power. The same glory that raised Jesus from the dead was manifested as fire by night and a cloud by day in the wilderness according to Exodus 13 21. In Exodus 10 23, this same glory separated Israel and the land of Goshen from the rest of Egypt when there was light in the land of Goshen, but not in Egypt. What was that light? The glory. The glory of God's presence. Can we see those same physical manifestations of God's glory today? Yes. There are countless testimonies of individuals and groups of believers having seen visible evidence of God's glory. It is tangible and it is powerful. So, start expecting to see the glory of the Lord. Also, to tap into the glory of God, 
You need to pray for the glory. Romans 8.18 says, For I consider the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. But sir, how do you pray for the glory of God? First, pray that the glory will be revealed to you and in you. You can see and experience the glory of God, but you must diligently ask and seek for it to be revealed. You see, when we pray the glory into the earth, miracles, signs, and wonders will occur in the church and in our own personal lives. When Moses saw the glory of God in Exodus 33, 18, he said, Please, show me your glory. When believers gathered together in a spirit of unity, seeking the Lord, the glory appeared in the upper room on the day of Pentecost, and sat on the head of each person there. Each born-again believer can manifest God's glory here on earth but we must believe when we pray. That's why Jesus told Martha in John 11:40 that if she would believe, she would see the glory of God. I want to encourage you to pray if Ephesians 1 17 and 18, that you would know the hope of his calling, which is the hope of his glory. Pray that you will understand the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. When we inherited him, glory was deposited in us, but we have to receive revelation of what it means to walk in the glory. For you to tap into God's glory, you also need to prepare for the glory. Romans 5, 5 says the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit who was given to us. Did you know there are degrees of the glory? If you want to experience the fullness of God's glory, you must prepare your spirit. Pastor, but how? By walking in love. It takes faith to receive and operate in the glory, and faith works by love according to Galatians 5, 6. That means the glory of God will increase in you in direct proportion to how you walk in love. So, to increase the amount of glory in your life, you must walk in love. Put simply, more love, more glory. The spirit of strife and division is always there, lurking and looking for an opening and a way into your life. Never, ever let your love guard down. Then you are on your way to being filled with the glory. And finally, to tap into God's glory, you need to walk in the glory. Please, subscribe. 2 Corinthians 3.18 says, But we all, with unveiled face, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from glory to glory, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. The glory of God looks for a dwelling place. The original house for the glory of God was the tabernacle. But under the new covenant, the Holy Spirit builds a temple in every believer. 1 Corinthians 3.16 says, do you not know that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you? We are God's house, His temple. Only, this temple is no longer in a fixed location. This house can walk and talk and preach the gospel. Now, it's one thing to have the glory, but it's another to know how to walk in it. The good news. You have everything you need inside you to do so. When the believers experienced the glory of God at Pentecost, they didn't just go back to living normal lives. They emerged from that place as separate from the rest of the world and as light in the midst of darkness. They went out and started turning the world upside down for Jesus. They preached the gospel and worked miracles, signs, and wonders and the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved according to Acts 2.47. That's the glory we need to be operating in. I mean the glory that will be seen in your life and cause people to long to serve your God. When you walk in the glory of God, you have a fire in you that the devil cannot withstand. We are told to put on the armor of God, which includes the shoes of the glorious gospel of peace. There is glory in your feet. That's what gives you the power to walk on Satan.
That's why the only thing the devil is to the church is a footstool. Start practicing these four ways to tap into God's glory by looking, praying, preparing and walking, and watch the glory of God be revealed in you. Don't live without understanding God's glory and what it means to your life. Start saying by faith right now, the glory is in me. I receive it. I'm walking in it. Get more God inside minded and start acting like a temple of the Lord of glory today. In the Old Testament, the Ark of Presence was to be carried upon the shoulders of the priests. Everywhere the priests walked, the glory of God went with them. Because of Jesus, we have become New Testament priests who carry the manifest presence of God in the earth. If you can, please join me as we together activate the truth of God's word by speaking these declarations over our lives. I decree that I am a glory carrier who carries the manifest presence of God, in Jesus' name. The manifest presence of God is in me and on me. Therefore, when people come into my atmosphere, they get healed, saved, and delivered by God's miracle power, in Jesus' name. I declare there is so much of God's glory in me that even my clothes are saturated with miracle power, in Jesus' name. Like Peter, when I speak, people come under the influence of the Holy Spirit's cascading presence, in Jesus' name. I declare that my family, friends, and community benefit from the manifest presence of God on my life, in Jesus' name. Lord, thank you for your precious glory. Thank you that you chose me to carry your glory. May your manifest presence in my life always bring glory and honor to Jesus. Amen. Thanks for making those declarations. Hope you enjoyed the video and the declaration session. You see, God created us to carry hope and transformation to the world. God's supernatural ability is manifested through His words, and when His people confidently decree His words, we will see supernatural breakthrough take place. May the Lord release His glory upon you and make you a mountain in these last days, in Jesus' name. I decree over your life, the Lord shall release His glory upon you and let the gifts of the Spirit begin to manifest in your life, in Jesus' name. The Lord shall release His glory upon you and let your life attract supernatural provisions, in Jesus' name. The Lord shall release His glory upon you and let the former and the latter rain fall on you, in Jesus' name. The Lord shall release His glory upon you and defend you and your family in this wicked time, in the name of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus, enter the ark of power and glory, be robed with the garment of power and glory, in the name of Jesus. I declare that you are a firebrand of Jehovah, therefore every satanic garment of shame assigned to resist your calling and your glory, I rebuke them now, catch fire and burn to ashes, in Jesus' name. Every filth and iniquity in your foundation preventing the manifestation of your divine glory, be purged by Holy Ghost fire. Be consumed by the blood of the Lamb of God, in Jesus' name. Arrows from the grave, fired to capture your glory, you are not its candidate. I command it to go back by fire, in Jesus' name. Every glory that is sinking or fading, hear now the voice of fire, arise now and shine, in Jesus' name every glory that has been imprisoned. What are you doing in the prison yard of shame and stagnation? Arise. Break loose. Jump out. And manifest now by fire, in Jesus' name. I command arrows of captivity from the grave, fired to capture your glory to go back by fire and capture the centers, in the name of Jesus. I speak to the fading glory of your family line, hear the voice of resurrection, arise now and shine by fire, in Jesus' name. By the word of the Lord, your glory shall not see corruption any more and forever, in Jesus' name. The King of glory shall change you from glory to glory, in the name of Jesus. And it shall be well with you. I decree and declare, that you go and return with testimonies. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. Please, don't forget to like, share and leave a comment in the comment section. Also do well to subscribe to this channel if you haven't, and click on the notification bell to get notified each time a new video is uploaded. Please, subscribe.